Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your Coffee Cup reading for the week of June 27th, and this is a quick and general reading. Okay, lots of lots of energy for you, Cancer. Oh, man, this is a lot of spiritual paths here, so things are changing. So let's try to get through this for a general reading. Um, it's like you still feel a, some kind of a push, and it's a push forward, and you're continuing to grow, and you're transforming, and this is into a like a new life direction. And this is opportunities coming your way, <clears throat> which will allow you to make some significant and positive change in your life and your world around you. Um, you may find yourself feeling, I want to say, a little bit restless and frustrated or in conflict this week. And there is a need of, um, I, you want things to be done, <laughs> I want to say. And you're kind of annoyed. This could get you to be a little bit snappy where you snap at someone and that way... Um, could run into problems if you make some impulsive decisions. So uh, think things through. Now, there is something that you need to let go. And this is something very subconscious. There's a sense of purging. Um, it's like letting go of something or someone uh, that's been around for far too long. <clears throat> Maybe you say, oh, I want the situation to end. But deep down, you're like, you're comfortable with it. It's almost like Stockholm Syndrome, so to speak. This can be something of a material value. Or this could be... Um, love or something or an idealistic viewpoint with love, family or something that was impossible to attain. Let this energy, um, I want to say, you have the strength to let go and something then will come, something new will be shown, something new and beautiful. It's awaiting for you in the future. Okay, so I do see that energy. I see um, this week too some positive changes are going to bring you success. And this is also, you have influence, um, influential people could appear in your life now, okay? And um, it's kind of a trend and it's your chance to expand and grow. And this with this is with new opportunities as well. Um, it's a good time to invest into something for the future too. So I do see that making some investments um, with um, finances or um, with um, work or your endeavors. You may even find, I feel that you are very powerful and it also an influ uh, you have influence on others as well. So you may be surprised by your influential um, um, possibilities, your um, influence on others as well, or um, getting people to... Um, do things your way. Be careful of not <laughs> um, doing too much work because I see life could become complicated with more work. Um, stay committed. Budget your time well, uh, well too and be mindful with every decision. All right? And you will meet your sh uh, short-term goals if you're um, persevering here. And again, I am seeing here new cycle that brings new visions, new beginnings. It's time to take a lot of um, consideration of what you feel, um, what your immediate long-term goals are. So I do see that. Um, there's a lot of abundant energy as well. And you may feel that you're caring less about some stuff, but wanting more of other stuff as well. So I do see that kind of energy coming through too. Interesting. Interesting. It's like balancing your yin and yang. Uh, uh, your yin and yang. Um, I do see the energy is stronger than ever. So you are stronger than what you used to, that you usually are. And you're going to feel more in charge of your life, even though there is ups and downs. Okay. So it's your, uh, your confidence level is boosted and the people around you are going to be noticing this too. So I do see that energy as well. Um, I do see he could be dealing with the Gemini and I do see dealing with authority and definitely things working your way. So it's taking your, making your own choices for your destiny, future, uh, decisions, taking your power back. So I do see that energy too. I do see projects work. Um, this is also creative writing, creative solutions, talks, negotiations are going to be positive. I see, um, just let things develop. Take a break. Don't make any impulsive decisions. That's another thing I'm seeing too. Learning from the past. You've learned some things from the past and you're going to be applying them now. And you no longer are going to be fooled or taking that route. So there is that memories and triggers. Remember the past and learning from the past and moving forward. 
I do see truths being revealed. This is a powerful new beginning. Um, this could be some victory um, and success, and this could be dealing with um, official business or courts. Um, positive thinking is very important too. I do see that you could be more to yourself. It's like you're keeping things more to yourself. You're kind of business focused, trying to kind of organize things because you're kind of uh, finding new ways and um, ways to um, be ahead of the game, so to speak. Okay, so I do see that. Um, I do see that um, a lot of you will be dealing with, it's like, you know, research, analysis. I, I do see that there is some deception around you, but you are more onto it. Okay, so I do feel that. Um, I do see here that uh, manifestation is high, dealing with an institution. Also, um, whatever you're thinking of doing, um, you're headed on the right path. Um, you will be putting your foot down to people who have been taking advantage of you. Okay, I do feel that energy because I, I am seeing that it's like enough is enough with the spending or money or um, feeling there was a lack of because of someone else or something like that. Um, I do see definitely you kind of in your element putting your foot down and making a sound decision um, and also paying attention to your surroundings. Okay, very important. You um, are more aloof, indifferent, um, taking your own advice, and you will be making a decision that you've been kind of um, procrastinating on. So it's a lot of changes, a lot of ideas here. Um, happiness is here, okay? And love, too. So I do see supportive, um, good news with the family or uh, family dynamics, very nice energy, too. I do see a wish coming to fruition, and I do see that there is, um, this is strengthening a bond. This is beautiful. Partnerships, unions. Um, you're taking your power back. You're being true to yourself. Um, this is something that started, I don't know, is continuing in, I think, oh, summer or now the energy. There's a strong new beginning. Okay, so I do see that. There is some conflicts. It's like picking and choosing your battles. It's like stop arguing or this could be just conflicts within yourself. Um, there is... taking advice, listening to advice, but then making your own decision, uh, trying a different approach, okay? It's like you want to avoid conflict too, so you're just trying to find some um, genius solutions, and you will. There is open, infinite possibilities around you, okay? Just know a lot of things are opening up for you. Um, stay positive about your uh, matters of the heart here too, relationships. This is positive thinking. Have faith. Things are going to work out. So staying positive is going to be important. Um, something is going to be revealed. This is a message or some kind of insight and it comes through communications. Signs, symbols are all there too. Speaking, power of words. You have the power of words too. So you could be very convincing when you do speak. Um, so I see blessings coming that way. Um, also taking some kind of advice and then um, advice and counsel and then applying it to yourself um, and your wisdom and intuition. So you have some powerful energies. Um definitely new cycle that brings new visions and new begin, be, be, beginnings. I mean, you're, I'm seeing a lot of that energy. And there is also, um, be careful who you may be a knight in shining armor to. You know what I mean? Like the underdog. That kind of energy is showing up too. Um, some secrets or something hidden may be revealed or there could be an underlining cause that's been going on for a while that no one's talking about. And that's a long-term, more long-term energy. Um, there is something that may, or kind of um, a family secret or something that people, you're not revealing to others. But um, talks will be important in the future. It's something that has to be released too. I don't know. Um, yeah. All right. Well, Cancer, that is your reading for the week of June 27th. Now, this is a reading for the week of June 27th through July 3rd. For all Cancers who have a birthday this week, this is my birthday week too, so some birthday twins out there, I want to wish you a very happy birthday and a blessed soul year you're ahead and beyond. I do post daily pick-a-card readings and daily birthday readings. You can check that out on Instagram. And um, I did post the Cancer... Solar reading that is on my YouTube channel if you haven't seen that. 
So happy birthday to all of you. And for everyone else, have a fabulous week. And I'll catch you back next week for our next reading. Bye for now.